All right. Hey, what's up, guys? So I just recorded a six-minute video, and then I realized my microphone wasn't even on, so I'll do it again now. But um, I just want to talk about a couple things. I want to talk about uh, how I think YouTube is going to change pretty soon. I think that people going from uh, short-form content to long-form content is going to come back because I think we're reaching the peak of the disingenuousness, disingenuousness and the... Um, the fakeness sort of of like a lot of social media especially with like ai uh there's so much ai i think like people really just want like a genuine thing to get into now and like uh so i was talking about this in the last video that i made and the mic wasn't on but there's a girl on youtube i just watched her video she has like six or seven views and or not views, videos, and the fifth one got, like, 141,000 likes, and it's just her talking, kind of the way that I am right now, and it's, like, I'll link it, I'll link the video, but it's, like, her, um, why you should make a YouTube channel, like, according to philosophy, sort of, and she makes some, like, really interesting points, and the top comment was somebody saying like you never see people like just talking anymore on the internet there's always like a thousand edits there's always you know like stimulation constantly and i think that in 2024 we're going to see it go back down towards long form like not like even even i bet like vlog style content is going to change like the people who actually do that the most um because I think also, um, like, me starting to do Twitch again, I'm starting to realize that you have to be yourself. And it's really hard to be yourself when you're focusing on all of the little things that you should be doing to be different. Like, and at the end of the day, it detracts from, like, I think, who you really are. Like, there, well, there's, there's the two, there's the effort... Of the, what is it? It's like input bias. How, you know, they call that input bias. Where it's like when you see something that's been refined and refined and refined, it's considered to be valuable. But I think the other, the other end of that is also important. Where it's like people who are just well-spoken and are able to be themselves in general. Um, like you can... I mean, I'm not even talking about, like, being successful or anything like that, but I'm just talking about enjoying the content that you're making. Like, I've recently realized, literally today, I, like, kind of hate... I don't hate it. I enjoy editing, but I think it can... It's It takes away from, like, what I'm actually trying to do sometimes. Like, sure. Uh, this... It's going to be hard to, like... Obviously, I doubt anybody's even going to watch this whole video. I'm kind of just doing it just to uh, focus on, like, talking to the camera. And it's going to be kind of bizarre to upload on my channel because it's, like, Call of Duty, then Pal World, then this. What is this guy even doing? But that's, those of you who know me, that's what I did with the, uh, the Crab channel anyways. Which I might make another one of those in the summertime when it gets nice out. But um, that's, honestly, I've been enjoying doing Twitch, just, like, talking with people. Lately, I got two new followers in my uh, my Twitch channel, and I'm going to keep doing it just because, like, even my friend, like, my friend was at school enjoying, uh, he was, in, like, he was watching my stream and just talking to me a little bit while he was, like, at school, and I was like, damn, dude, appreciate it. You're, like, coming in here and supporting me, and he's, like, send, he sent my links to other people, and that's real nice of him, but, um... Back to what I was saying, too, about the whole, like, being yourself thing. I think, uh, so I started talking about this again, and then the mic, I realized, literally, I was, like, seven minutes in, and the mic was off the whole time, and I was like, wow, I gotta say all that again. But, um, the, uh, the big thing about that is, I think, if you want to, like, be successful, or not even if you want to just be successful, if you want to enjoy the content that you're making... I think it needs to, like, come from you and not be 
emulating somebody else. And I think a lot of YouTube tip videos tell people that. Again, I don't know if I already said this because I had said it in the other video 10 minutes ago. But um, all the YouTube tip videos, they constantly tell you, like, all these little things you got to do. You got to have a title and thumbnail and you got to, you know... Like, super edit your videos. Get out all the little tiny spaces of you, like, not talking and all this. And that's when I realized that, like, I don't think any of these tip videos actually matter. Like, I don't think any of their tips even work. Because what I consider is this. Why would they be telling you how to do something that is going to make them less money? And then the other concept is, if you can't get likes on YouTube making content... Just make a video about how to get likes on YouTube making content. Because it's like... <laughs> but... And now there's all these things like um, the AI algorithm stuff. Which I think is kind of weird. Because like I can really punch something into vidIQ and it'll give me like the perfect metric based, you know, algorithmly perfect title, a thumbnail, description, all the keywords. And I think it's like gonna... I hope it fizzles out because it doesn't really make any sense that everybody's content would be the same. Like, I think that really detracts from the essence of doing it in the first place. Like, I feel like that'd be paint, like, like if you were to paint, but then, like, there's a whole bunch of people around you who are telling you exactly what to do. And it's like, they're telling you, this is the best way to do it. This is the most optimized, best possible way to do this. So if you're doing it any other way, you're wasting your time. And if you think about it, that's like, that doesn't make any sense at all. Because it's supposed to be an artistic endeavor, you know? I'm not like Twitch streaming to get famous. I'm not making YouTube videos because I want to be a gajillionaire. I'm just doing it at the low level I currently am because it's fun. And I'm going to keep doing it because it's really fun. And eventually, maybe it'll be, who knows, maybe I'll find people, get people on my channel. Who cares? Maybe. But yeah, I was just thinking about this a lot. Again, some of you probably, a lot of you probably aren't going to stick around for this whole video, but yeah, I just wanted to talk. I wanted to make a long monologue video about just me yapping. I went to Taco Bell and, and got the, uh, the $10 buck box, the uh, deluxe cravings box. It was amazing. You guys got to go get that. If you eat Taco Bell, if you like fast food, I feel like a lot of people don't eat. Aren't even going to eat fast food. But yeah. This video is just me yapping. Um, so yeah, I, they call it the anti-meta though. The anti-meta is going to be the... Like I watched, again, me watching a bunch of YouTube tip guide videos. And they said, they were like, yeah dude, uh, I think that we think the meta is going to change. like, And it's going to be less of uh, like structured freaking drone head ADHD, you know, scrolling constantly stuff and more like, wow, this is an actual person who's talking and like, let's hear what they have to say type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, because we're getting to such a uh, artificial world. I think everybody can agree with uh, the content that you see on the internet. It's everything is like, everybody's competing with one another the same way and, like, all the thumbnails look the same. All the content sounds and looks the same. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. Because it's, like, I think these people are really, like, they're not chasing their purpose. They're just chasing, like, their, like, money or something, you know? They're not trying to refine their content down. They're just trying to, like... They're trying to refine their content, but they're doing it in a way that... Like, sure, it'll get them views, maybe. And maybe, like, retention. They call it retention editing. Like, it's to retain your audience, retain their attention. And they'll pay people, like, $35 an hour. And, I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying a video like this one that I'm recording right now is going to pay the bills, obviously. But um, something the girl said in the video that I really liked was she was saying um, a really interesting concept about making a YouTube channel is when you're older, you get to come back and look at it. So I was considering that, you know. I'd make this video, and maybe even if it was like a year or so in the 
in the far, far or in the far far future, I can be like, dang, this guy is yapping. This is who. This is what I was like back then. So that's kind of like a a weird third person introspective thought, but. I just think that that is an interesting concept to be able to go back and uh, see what I was doing and saying back then, back then, back on uh, January twenty second, twenty twenty four. But yeah, I think that's the whole video. I doubt anybody's even gonna watch this, but that's okay. All right, you guys have a good one.